Hello my friends, we back here on the half duplex, been two weeks since the last update and we gonna show you here what we have done so far, let's take a look. Yes, is this a recording? Yes, we are here on the kitchen and living room area, okay, <laughs> we are on the basement here on the half duplex my friends and let's show you some updates. And we did the framing since the last update. We have the electrical laid out and the framing is all done. Nothing gonna change now, like you guys can see. And uh, all the frame, the, this is gonna be, gonna be open closet. We're just gonna put the shelves. For the clothes hanger, put another shelf on top, gonna be open, save us some time, and looks good. <laughs> Hello my friend, we are here in the kitchen living room and I'm gonna show you some update. We had to put this drop here because we have some gas pipe running, and uh, like uh, you guys can see, here gonna be one window. Here as we frame this window opening, and uh, Let's keep moving. This, this is gonna be cabinet. We're gonna have a cabinet from uh, this corner up to this corner in here. All right. We're just gonna go next. Uh, show you the bedroom here. Let's say bedroom uh, number one. Frame is up. gonna have one window in here this uh, access to window so we're not gonna touch it closet. and we have a nice big closet in here that's gonna be open closet and here we are coming on a bedroom number two we have a side by side closet and uh, Just gonna have one window in here. Red frame and good to go. And no, we just step in here, bedroom number three. All frame, we're gonna have a one closet. We just uh, nail on the hard track to this block wall. The body wall that we have, we had some bricks and block just sticking out. We just want to put drywall and be straight. Straight with, oh, yeah. straight with the, the wall. And here we're gonna have a big nice window. Uh, we had a video on this window, how to frame a window opening. And uh, that video is out there, just keep your eye open for it. And uh, here gonna be the in-suite bedroom, bathroom. We're gonna have a big shower in here. We have a toilet and sink going there. And uh, we're good to go. Uh, all the three doors we're Same gonna time. have. Uh, we're gonna have. We're gonna have the three door for the bedroom in here. One, two, three. Nice and easy. From the kitchen, we will have access to the bathroom. Main bathroom is gonna be like big, big bathroom. Shower will be here. Toilet, and we're gonna have a very good size cabinet and sink in here. And from here, we're gonna have the we're gonna have the mechanical room with uh, the uh, hot water tank. And now we're gonna have the wash and dryer in here. Right on this corner, gonna be wash and dryer. Uh, we still have a we 
have some wire hang. This wire is gonna go to the panel upstairs because we're gonna have a separate panel. All this one too. So it's safe. What we did with all the wire. This wire here are going up to the panel up there like we're gonna show you. And we just have here three wire. We're just gonna run them through at the same time. We're gonna go to that panel. And what we want to do here was to separate the, the electrical from uh, each unit. So we're gonna use this uh, junction box. We're gonna use this junction box in here to connect all the wires to go upstairs because right now we have old wires going everywhere so we just uh, gonna use the junction box make it easy and save a lot of time and we're gonna use this panel for this unit down here yeah so we use the, the the between the joists here to run the wire because the to go upstairs because easier here we don't have it so open we don't have it covered upstairs we already have the drywall done and finished so it's a little bit more work this is easier we're just gonna keep all hide nice and tight in there and uh, a way easier to do it from the basement yes we have the breaker box the panel right above us in here so we have Long wire going up, and we're gonna have some more steel. We had some uh, progress upstairs. I'm just gonna show you guys right now. Let's go. We here on the second floor upstairs. Just gonna show you uh, some progress. The last uh, progress we focused, focused more downstairs and now we're just gonna show you guys a little bit up here. We didn't do a lot at, up here in the last two weeks, uh, but we're gonna show you what we done here. Like we run, we run some wires, we run some pipes, we have a we just have a new opening here because we're just gonna open this side, opening here, and gonna close that opening there. That way we have more cabinet space and better use of the entrance. That way we have the entrance through here instead of uh, over there. You guys can see here how it uh, looks like. Okay, we're gonna close that one. We're gonna close this side. That way we're gonna use this corner for our corner cabinets for the kitchen. Because this area here was already like a kind of uh, we could not use it because uh, this was the perfect way. No, we just up nice to be very useful. And, uh, here we have a new pipe is still hanging here on the bathroom. And once we go here, we have a setup for a few walls. Uh, very much done. We have uh, a laundry area set up. Just need to put to hook up the vent. And now we have all the wires for the baseboard heaters. They are run. They from there they just run through the to the basement and run inside this panel. I'm gonna say that all those wires that I showed you downstairs, this is where they all come out. This is where all those wires that we show you downstairs, they come out 
right in here. Like you can see, the panel is no power on it yet. Nice and organized. I like to, to keep it neat. And the uh, If you, if you guys have the base knowledge for electrical, usually many electricians they don't mind to pull out a permit. We have here some electrical going on. We're gonna have a smoke detector in each room. The rough wire is pretty much in on this part. We just have to throw in a few more box for the power and figure out a few things. We have to install a few more box, probably we need about, uh, I say, um, about half day and we'll be complete with the wiring up here. We install the box, uh, many box, we have a setup for the kitchen, we run, uh, we have some, uh, we install some electrical box here for three ways and uh, three way suites and uh, wire, we install some uh, wire for the smoke detector and a few plugs and we have about half day in here and we'll be done with half day in here we'll be done with the rough in electrical and we gonna go for, do some plumbing oh okay and we <laughs> we make this hole here today we make this opening that way we have a better set up for the kitchen hello guys progress here is going great uh, we just work until late after work and we just get this done on the on the part-time base and it's going good next here we're gonna finish the we're gonna finish the wiring and the electrical and then we're just gonna finish the plumbing we plan to do it on the next two weeks we would have this place like the electrical finish plumbing finish and we start to isolate and prepare to cover up we prepare to cover up with dryo and we're gonna have a nice video there too for dryo how to do it and just keep your guys eye open you're gonna see those videos and if you if you like to know something just let us know if you if you see something that you'd like to know on this video please ask me on the comments and we get it done for you get the video done with the uh, information that you like just let us know and let me know let me know and it uh, would be a pleasure to help you guys out is what we're here for thank you see you in the next video if you, want, if you haven't seen our last update uh... if you haven't seen our last update we link it yeah. if, you, if you haven't seen the last update if you haven't seen the last update, we will link the playlist on this video. Thank you very much. I love you guys. See you on the next update. Wish me luck with this project and let's work.